right, all right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, victims of all ages. What's up, motherfuckers? Wishing you folks a gracious good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time it may be for you, wherever in the world you folks may be. Thank you for coming and hanging out with me for a couple minutes today. I appreciate that shit. You know, we're going to get fucked up over here. We're going to make fun of some cops, some retards, probably some women. And uh, hopefully we can learn something from these interactions highlighted today. And hopefully I can introduce you folks to a channel that you haven't yet seen before. Now, let me tell you how the fuck my day started out. I literally just fucking blocked somebody for posting, I hate chocolate milk. Bitch, I ain't fucking around today. I'm blocked. You click blocked. Fuck you. I got no time for racism. I love chocolate milk. I love chocolate milk. No time for that shit in my life. And Okay, look, ladies, pay attention. This is a big heads up. This is specifically for you. Not all men want to be in a relationship just specifically for sex. Believe it or not. Believe it or not. I know. I Believe me. I know. But not all men want a relationship just for sex. Some of us would like our fucking dishes done, too. Those of us that have dishes. I use them for those of us who have dishes. I'm, I'm looking up recipes to, for, for frying up water and ice. That's what this came to. And speaking of that, check this out, right? I see this fucking... I see some fucking schmuck post something online that says... It says, ladies... For $8.2 million, would you let two guys run a fucking train on you? And I'm thinking, two things. Number one, bitches now will do that shit for a little bit of weed and a fucking happy meal, much less $8.2 million. Secondly, for $8.2 million, I'm a fucking dude. Have you seen the prices of groceries and gas and shit lately? Have you seen that? I'm in. What do we need to do for $8.2 million? I'll buy a new asshole and another identity. And speaking of assholes with brand new identities, check this out. You folks ever wonder if Caitlyn Jenner... If Caitlyn Jenner ever says to itself, you know, I don't always use the women's restroom, but when I do, I piss all over the toilet seat like a man. I, I'm, I, I'm still fucking blown away by this fucking ugly ass whore ass. I'm, I'm blown away. The woman of the year, who was a woman for less than a year, can literally tr transition back to being a man with a fucking wet wipe, and this is the piece of shit that wins Woman of the Year. But he still fucks women. So what are you, a fucking dyke? Are you a lesbian now? What the fuck are you? Uh, and that's what makes everything so fucked up, especially for parents nowadays. Look, man, you got to explain the fucking birds and the bees, the bees and the bees, the fucking birds that used to be fucking bees, the bees that used to be fucking birds, and the bees that look like birds but still got a goddamn stinger. How the fuck are you supposed to explain all that shit and expect your babies to come out normal? Oh, little tank tanks in this motherfucker. Here's something that's really going to blow your mind. Here's something that's really going to blow your mind. Your lips only touch for four letters of the alphabet. Try it. How many motherfuckers are trying that right now? Oh, and by the way, last thing, last thing. As a community service, as a community service, I don't know who needs to hear this. I don't know what parents need to tell their kids this. But instead of stealing grandma's dog for Oxycontin, how about this? You folks know those fucking, uh, uh, those speed enforcement things? I mean, we, we've all seen them. You're driving down the road. The cops set up that fucking electronic thing that flashes your speed. You know what I'm talking about. I don't know who needs to hear this, but those fucking things hold five and a half pounds of copper in them. I mean... That being said, we can all help each other out. You don't need to fucking rob me. You don't need to steal your grandma's fucking dog and hold it hostage as ransom to get some Oxycontin or some fentanyl or whatever you're into. Go fuck with these speed trap things, man. Go fuck with that. There's five and a half pounds of copper in this motherfucker, dude. At the fucking grocery store earlier, right? And I see a woman. I'm, I'm in the fucking, I'm in the vegetable aisle and all that shit, right? Um, cause lettuce is the only thing I can afford anymore and that, and even that's starting to get pretty fucking pricey. You can't even afford the fucking dressing anymore and croutons and shit. But anywho, so I'm standing there, right? And I see this woman and she's picking up cucumbers. She picks up this fucking giant cucumber, right? And I says to her, I says, Hey, you must be single too. <laughs> this ignorant, stupid bitch. Why? Why do you think that? Oh, I don't know, bitch. Hey, look, 
You guys are important, cared for, valuable, and unbelievably appreciated over this motherfucker. Thank God it's finally Friday. God only knows why people who don't work will post shit all the time that says, Thank God it's Friday. What's the difference between any other day of the week for you, you lazy fuck? You're welcome, by the way, for the food that I'm giving you that I can't even buy, you piece of shit. But anywho, I got four videos for you folks today. The first one comes from History Judge, and this is how a traffic stop turns violent quickly. The second video comes from Coptails236. If you guys are unfamiliar with this channel, this is also the channel of the guy who does We the People. And the very last video comes from Police to Police, and this is when the FBI, the motherfucking FBI, shows up over the First Amendment. Oh, a little tink tink. You guys know what time it is, man. Roll it up, twist it up, light it up, spark it up, shoot it up, whatever the fuck it is you guys do to get there. Get there with me. Pour your motherfucking drinks. Let's bust up some weed. Put a little motherfucking gas in the air and get right into these videos. My motherfucking dude, History Judge, is going to kick off for us and show us about this traffic stop. History Judge, show us what happened, my dude. Let's go. Officers from Solon, Ohio, make a traffic stop for reckless driving that turns into a physical confrontation soon afterwards. Can't hear you. You're driving. When you pulled that little stunt over there, how you cut everybody off and accelerate like a, like a crazy person. I wasn't. Ma'am, there's just traffic heavy here. There's no need for that. That's caused accidents. So I need your license. Because your driving is horrible. There's no need for it. You could have caused two or three accidents. No, I was driving so I wouldn't cause no accidents. No, you were driving aggressively. I was getting away from the traffic because you they, know were what? Going, they wasn't even going There's to There's bumper to bumper traffic at 91 at this hour. You should not be driving that way. You were so lucky that you didn't cause an accident. No, I wasn't doing 91. And then the lady was, wasn't even doing the speed limit that I was behind. So I went beside Do you her. know what the speed limit is right here? It's not what she was doing. She What's was the doing speed limit here? No, it's 25. But she wasn't doing 25. She was doing at least like 15. Well, she can do 15. I went, she can do 15, but yeah. I can't do over. You over. can't drive aggressively and you change so lanes. So she can do 15. Why is it? Because of her race. She doesn't feel safe. That's that's not a violation, 15 and 25. It's so just slow speed. That's No. So you allowed to go slow in the well, that's your judge of how fast she's going. Did you have her on, on radar or something? No, she or? Was going extremely slow, sir. Well, okay, that's fine. But you can't be aggressive like that, whipping out. You don't have the right of way to change the lane unless it's clear. You can use any signal. Oh, you just cut it over. You just cut it over and get it. All right. I need your license. I need your insurance. Okay, that's a license. You don't have insurance. Come out of the car for me, please. I need you to step out of the car. Yeah, and I'm asking Your license is suspended. Okay, my license is uh, I just made a payment. It's not it's Saturday. Well, and then we go by the computer, and the computer is suspended. Do you have any paperwork on you? So anyway, I need you to step out of the car. Because I asked you. So please step out of the car. Step out of the car. Ma'am, step out of the car. He walked up to the car. Okay. Well, man, but we still have, you have to talk, follow his orders and step out and we'll talk about it back in his vehicle, okay? And his vehicle? Uh, we're yeah, going to go gonna, back here because we don't want to. You're not under arrest right now. Just, we're just going to come back this just way. Stay, come on out of the car. we got paperwork to do. All right, leave your purse there for me. All right, you don't have anything on you? No weapons, anything like that? No. Okay, we're going to put you in the back of the car. In the back of my ear. No, the police car. You have nothing yeah. on you? What's in your pocket right there? In your right pocket? Huh? Nothing? Okay. Wow. Just because I'm black, don't me, I got weapons. No. Let's get We ask everyone. Have a seat in the back of his car, okay? Um, 
you said your driver's license, you weren't, you're not aware it's suspended or what's going no, on with okay. that? I need a, I have to have an SR-22 for my license to be uh, valid. Okay. And I paid it, but by it being a Saturday, it doesn't, it's not going to go through. I got paid yesterday. Okay. Did you so pay it today or did you pay I it paid, yesterday? I paid it today. And it's you not paid it today. Be, uh, it's Do you have a receipt show that shows you paid it? Okay. So you have to. So you have to pass that before you can get yeah, the place. Yeah, I have the appointment on Monday. Okay. To get it. To get on it Memorial Day. Oh yeah, it is Memorial Day, isn't it? Yeah. I'm supposed to have it on Monday. I don't think they're gonna do no work on Monday. Probably on Tuesday. Yeah, on Tuesday. All right. So see if you can find a receipt for that SR22, and we'll see what what's going on. Okay. If there is marijuana in your vehicle, where would it be? It's not no marijuana in the vehicle at it's, all. Okay. Somebody was smoking. smoking. Yeah. Okay. The bud. That's okay. what he smell. It's not no marijuana at all. Okay. Well, yeah. because we smell it, we're still going to check to make sure there's nothing in the vehicle, that's okay? Fine. And you're going to be issued a citation for, you know, everything that's going on. Obviously, the expired plates and stuff like that, okay? So just give us a few moments, all right? And we'll get everything figured out, all right? Okay. Do you want this window down so you have air back here? All right. Sure. 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 Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. There was a marijuana cigarette in the ashtray. Yeah, the ashtray. I'm talking about the pills that you guys are reading. I'm not talking about the marijuana. That gives us access to the whole car, ma'am. Yeah. Yes. Um, high reports, uh, people. Not get, this car. get away from the car. Don't tell me to get away from the car. Get away from the car. Like I said, shut up. No, you shut up. No, you shut up. No, I'm not going to. Do something. Get away from the Do car. Something. Get away from the car. Do get away from the car. Do something. Get away from the car. Get away from the car. I don't want my driver like that. No. Okay. No, I am about to record them, and I'm showing them in court. You're racist, and he. Been you're racist. you're already on the you're on video too, so go and step aside. All right, let's get out of here, guys. Let's get out. Let's get out. Get out of the road. Get out of the roadway. Hey! Stop me! Get off! Why are you touching me? Why are you doing anything? Why are you? See, I'm, I'm not doing anything. He's standing in the street. I'm not. Why did I touch you? This officer moved his car after he came out of the road. I'm not doing anything. Get away from the car. I'm not doing anything. It's obstruction okay. and assault on a police officer. I didn't touch nobody. You punched me in the face. No, I didn't. You did. Can you get off of me? Stop. Can you get off of me? Can you just get off of me? Why are you doing this to me? This is Can you get off of me? Though? No. You're, you not, you're going to jail. Why? Can you get off of me? Stop resisting. I'm not resisting. You did. Can you give me up, please? We will. Just so, a since we handcuffed you, we didn't trust you to punch somebody else in the face. I didn't punch you, sir. Okay, I'll get it. Over there? We'll get it. We'll get it. We'll get it. I didn't punch you, sir. Okay, well, we're not going to argue about it. It's I on promise, camera. I didn't punch you. I didn't punch you. I promise I didn't punch you. Can you go get my phone? Yeah, we'll get it. We'll get it. Ow. Because you're not listening. I am about to come with you. Please scoot over. Can I get my phone? I, I have it. Ultimately, the suspect was charged with driving without a license, resisting arrest with violence, and marijuana charges. My camera right now. I apologize. Get your hand. Don't cover my fucking camera. Listen, bitch. Don't cover my fucking camera. Welcome back to We the People University. Today's video will show a compelling reason why it's advisable not to open your door for the police or engage in conversation with them unless there's a legally mandated obligation, such as providing necessary information during a lawful police encounter involving a lawful arrest or detention. In this video, you'll witness an incident involving a police officer from the Ogden Police Department in Utah who takes the action of covering the homeowner's camera purportedly for the sake of officer safety. However, after the homeowner points 
points out the infringement on her First Amendment rights due to the officer preventing her from recording while on her property, the officers follow up their actions with a false claim of having a warrant. It's worth noting that despite the homeowner's request, no warrant is presented during this encounter. Okay, there is no need for that name call. You. So you know what? There's no need for you to be all secret treaty covering the f***ing camera. What do you f***ing want? That's an officer safety protocol it, that we usually no, use. No, oh, really? You. No, for my safety no. protocol, you ain't covering my f***ing cameras. You're violating my f***ing constitutional rights. What the okay, f*** on. do you want? I am here to talk to you. Are you home? You. Are you home? Get the off, get the f off my property! You got a f***ing warrant? Get the f off my f***ing property! I actually do have a warrant. Whoa, really? So. Get the f*** off my property! It's Bye, just bitch! A Bye, you <laughs> Bye, get the f*** off my property! Are you, are you home to come out and talk with me? Yeah, I'm bitch, I'm inside to... hiding from you! That's what I f***ing do, you dumb guy. Get the f*** off my f***ing property, man. You know how many times you guys have accused me of hiding in the f***ing house from you? Get your f***ing hand off my f***ing no, camera just, and get your f***ing on the get phone. away from my f***ing camera. Get the f*** off my property. Right now, get the f*** off my property. Are you, are get you the f*** off my property. What do you not f***ing comprehend? Show me a f***ing warrant, cunt. You got a warrant, show me a Don, warrant. you're losing connection, ma'am. F*** you, you f***ing cunt. The f*** off my f***ing property. It, 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 are you able to restart or something? Oh, no, it's no, no, no. At this point, the officer resorts to yet another deceptive tactic. After the false claim of having a warrant fails to achieve the desired result, the officer then pretends to have difficulty hearing the homeowner's words, insinuating that there was poor signal quality. It's worth noting that this is merely another attempt to lower the homeowner outside. However, upon watching the video, it becomes evident that the homeowner's audio is perfectly clear and the officer could indeed hear her as evidenced by the officer responding to every word she said. The deceptive tactics employed by these police officers were evidently unsuccessful and it is entirely justified for the homeowner to feel anger and frustration in light of these officers' unsuccessful efforts. Additionally, it's worth noting that you can hear the homeowner recount that these officers had previously aimed their AR-15 rifles at her. Get the f*** off my property! Are you home right now? Bye, take all your f***ing friends with you! It's just a few of us Bye. here. Bye! You, I don't give a f who's there. Nobody's welcome. Get the f off my property. You can stand on the f curb and then you can show me your fing warrant. But until then, I suggest you get the f off my property, bitch. This ain't fing Ruby Ridge, too. Get all your little fing pigs off my property. Get the f out of here, all you little fing ass fing cops. Fing coward punks. No need for that name, Carl. You, bitch! You pointed f***ing ARs at me! you punt! Can't wait till the f***ing death! you! Legal versus the United States is a United States Supreme Court case that held that, based on the Fourth Amendment, a police officer may not conduct a warrantless search of a third party's home in an attempt to apprehend the subject of an arrest warrant. Absent consent? or exigent circumstances. A search warrant is needed to arrest someone from the home of a third. No matter what. Yes, you do have a right to speak. And you can't tell me to be quiet. Yes, I can tell you. You don't have a right to tell someone to be quiet just because you're a police officer. I'm not gonna argue I know because it's on, rec it's just recording. Well, go ahead and record it. I don't care. But you can't tell me to be quiet. Okay, well, you believe that. <laughs> I believe it. Okay. It's freedom of speech. Do you understand that? You guys forget the Constitution. You're, 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 you're supposed to uphold the Constitution, but you guys don't. You guys forgot all about the fundamentals of this country. What law school did you go to? That's more, better than yours. You think? You come arrest me on interference and custody. You wasted your fucking time because they dismissed it. Why waste your time when they're going to miss a case that means nothing? I'm just doing my job. It ain't your job. Your job is to find murderers, thieves, rapists, people that have victims. That's your job. 
Okay. That is. I, there's no victim. I didn't hurt nobody. I'm trying to protect my child. Okay. Yeah, you guys don't understand that. Now you look at me as a bad guy, so don't help me do nothing. No, don't I worry about my past. Don't what, worry what about my past. Here? What am I doing here? You're here because you have to be here because I called you. You are here to serve me. That's what you're here. You're not here to protect. You're here to serve. That's it. The Supreme Court's ruled several times. You're not here to protect. You're not my personal fucking bodyguard. You know, you're here to serve me because taxpayers' dollars pay your salary. That's what you're here for. That's it. To serve. You pay property tax? Uh, I pay all kinds of tax. You pay property tax? I pay taxes. Sales tax? I pay all kinds of tax. Your sales tax don't go to my... Whatever. It goes to somebody's salary. You own property? It doesn't matter. You are funded by taxpayers. No, I'm a part of you're United standing States. You're thinking you know everything and you don't know anything. I know a lot more than you. Do you really? I'm college educated. Do you, you understand really? that? Yeah. You're I, college educated. Yes, sir. And where do you have your degree from? Ball State University. What do you got a degree in? Computer science. So you think I'm stupid? My, so, my GPA so was 4.0 for four semesters. I ended with a 3.79. I'm not stupid. Really? I'm not stupid. And where are you employed at? I'm employed everywhere. You're employed everywhere. And that's none of your business, though, for one. Well, you're standing here telling me you're smarter than I am. I'm I just am. asking a question. Well, because you got, because you're, you're a police officer that, and I don't have a job that makes you smarter than me. I didn't say I'm smarter than you. That's what I thought. You're the one standing here belittling so, me. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on, babies. Did you hear that? She wants her back when the time's up. In the uh, the twenty seventh, in which you were at the police station, and, uh, and you took photographs, sure, and you went in, and we, we it's we, a public location, you know that. Okay, and then you guys you walked in, I believe, or something. We, we're just here to try to figure out what the situation. What what is this something? Uh, of uh, you essentially were taking pictures of a police station. And uh, cars yes, coming and going. Absolutely, positively, that's a public location. That's a public street. So is that all you're here about? Well, we because I was taking photographs and video in a police station, is that why you're here? It was just a little alarming. Yes, it's essentially we were just we were just so photo so photographing public officials in public locations is to you alarming. Who are you? Why are you taking pictures? Who are you? I've lived here for the last thirty years. I live here for the past thirty years. I've been living here for fifty. So who are you? Why are you taking pictures of our vehicles? These are because I can. I'm on public. I'm on public property taking photos. Please stay away. From, please stay away from me. Just gathering some shots. At the front and off to the left. I'll, I'll walk closer to it. There's, a, there's an officer's vehicle straight ahead. Lights were on. Cars running. I don't recall whether he was sitting in the car. So let's see as we get closer. <coughs> I can't quite tell whether he was sitting in the car at the time, but um, New Jersey has an idling law. Uh, you cannot idle your vehicle for more than X number of minutes, I believe, but also more importantly, specific for uh, police in the township manual. It actually explicitly states you cannot leave your car running. Do, I think the language is something along the lines of do not leave your car unattended. I've found that's not something that the police follow very often. So I'm going at, the, at this point to basically get complaint forms um, against the chief, the detective, hey. I hear you, man. <laughs> and a number of officers. Yep. Uh, there are the, I forget their names uh, offhand, but uh, there are three officers assigned to manage the police department's Facebook page. I was going to file complaints against them. Hey, I need. Uh, Four complaint forms. At the window. Down there? Yep. No one's over. Hey, I need four complaint forms against an officer. Um, okay, hang on one second. Yep. Supervisor and stuff? Yeah. Can you send them out? Absolutely. Thank you. I mean, I don't want to have to call us a supervisor in, yeah. but I just I want a piece of paper. I, yeah. know there's, I know there's ones that 
look like this is Linden Police Department. Yeah. I'm just looking for that. The issue with the court, what are they telling me? Sorry? What, what did telling? they tell me? That they called somebody to come out to presumably give it to me. I've been sitting here for, you know, five, ten minutes. That, but, uh, you're just signing a civil complaint against someone, correct? Yeah. And I, I just, just want the printout. There's no need for I'm a patrolman. It's them, not us. Well, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, so, I mean, so, so I'll tell you, if, if there's a supervisor here, yeah. they can just get me the, yeah. the printout because obviously there's it, none it like over here. It has to do with the police it's their court. So, okay. um, so I'm, I'm curious. So IA is, is the court stuff? No, if it's an internal investigation, yeah, it's you need to speak with a supervisor. That's what I. I, I'm, I apologize if there was any confusion. Yes, I want to file four complaints against four police officers. Okay, then yeah, it has to go okay. through the uh, supervisor. All right. All right. Cool. Thank you. Sure. Internal affairs, something like that? Oh, uh, yeah, complaint form? Yeah. Hold more, Sergeant. Okay. Come on in. I'm just name? looking for the form. Oh, okay. Which uh, form do you want? Here's the citizen information sheet. I always give that out. Perfect. Yeah, you want to give a written right. statement? Yeah. Yeah, I plan on oh, right. taking let's the form. Take, let's take a no. few seconds. I would, I would like to take the form. Oh, absolutely. I'm going to write it, talk to my attorney, make sure it's good, oh, sign it. Uh, Get it back here, and should I be submitting it to you or just whoever's on? Well, I'm on days this week until uh, Sunday. Yeah. Uh, you probably want to speak with Lieutenant Breen. He's our uh, internal affairs officer okay. at the moment. Okay. There's that. And this is and this is the okay. And just to confirm, anonymous complaints can be filed, right? Yeah, absolutely. All right. Anytime, 24 hours a day, day, seven days a week. We're here right, cool. for you. Appreciate it. All right. It. Take Thank care you. of yourself. Thank you. Uh, Special Agent David Randolph. David Randolph. Here's again. Again, uh, would you mind just not What was your... Me? No, I'm going to. <coughs> what was your name again? My name is Eric Kara. Thank you. All right. Uh, again, would you mind just not filming us? No. If you don't like it, you can leave. Okay, sure. Fine. So before we get started, we'd like to get some of your identifiers. Uh, your name, sir. How do you spell it? Am I being suspected of a crime? You already have my name. You already said my name. Okay. If you don't want to give us accurate identifiers, it's absolutely you're right. Um, so, so it comes across our, our desk every now and just to just to look in these types of things. Um, it, Define was, things. So there was a situation that happened on the 27th of December last month where uh, you were, I believe, over at the Washington Police Department where you took photographs of the police. Wait, excuse me. Wait here. I'm recording the whole thing. You'll see it in a second. Come here, right, sorry. I'll stay. Hello, sir. Can identify ourselves? Don't you. identify yourself. Uh, you're not under any obligation because you're not suspected of a crime. What's going on? So, uh, Let them talk. Don't say anything. We were sent out here. Um, I came across our desk in which, uh, I believe it was the 27th of last month, in, uh, in which uh, Mr. Jumfola was... Talk to me. You're here for me, not him. Okay. That's my father. Here's your respect. Your father we're just, we're some questions, so we're just... Go answering. easy with the volume. What were you saying? So, so, so in the uh, the 27th, in which you were at the police station... And? Uh, and you took photographs. Sure. And you went in. And we... we it's we, a public location. You know that. Okay. And then you guys, you walked in, I believe, or something. We, we're just here to try to figure out what the situation what, was. What is this something? Uh, of... I, you essentially were taking pictures of a police station and uh, cars yes. coming and going. Yes, absolutely, positively. That's a public location. That's okay. a public street. McClure Drive okay. is a public street. Okay. At no point did I go into a, a um, confidential, that's the wrong word, but a confidential area. Okay. I stayed in the library, uh, the library, the, um, the lobby okay. at all times. Okay. I was invited, I don't know whether that was the visit or not, but into a private area, talked with a captain, okay. don't remember his name, okay. recorded it. It's not like I was trying to hide no. it, number one. Number two, as you know, as being the FBI in this state, you know that New Jersey is a one-party notification state. I can record at any, po any point. I'm doing you a favor by letting you know that I'm recording you right now. So is that all you're here about? Well, because I was taking photographs and video in a police station? Is that why you're here? It was just a little alarming. Yes, it's essentially we were just... We were just so, photo so photographing public officials in public locations is to you alarming? Like I said, it just came across the desk, and we're just coming out to clarify with you. We're trying. We're not. We're trying. Are to you clarified? Out the situation. Do you consider yourself clarified? You gave us a great, a great answer. Great. Of Are we done? You were doing, you were doing you nothing questions. else. No you, t other, you tell me. I'm not. No, I'm not going to no answer. Other. I'm not going to answer any, any more specific questions. Were you, are you accusing me of committing any other crime? No. 
They're okay. not accusing you of anything. Okay. And then are we good here? I have Thank you for your time. Hey, what was all. it, Eric? I David. David, yes. sorry. Were you Eric? Yes. Okay, all right. Sorry, got yeah. the names confused. Thank you guys for your yeah. time. I appreciate yeah. it. Yeah. I'll ask you, ask you to your uh, car. just want to be able to get those plates. <coughs> you're, in, you're in New Jersey? Dad? Dad, don't answer any questions. They're here for me. Okay. You'll get the video when we're inside. You said you're in New Jersey? You have no front plate. <clears throat> ah, PA. How to feel out of Philadelphia? Yeah, expect open records on that. All right, folks. All right, all right. How we doing? Everybody's still hanging in there. Everybody's still hanging out. Everybody's still conscious. Nobody needs fucking life alert or Narcan or anything. Check this out. Let me ask you this. I, I would like to know specifically how you feel about the very last video that, that was shown about how the FBI showed up over First Amendment. The reason why I bring this up is because during, uh, a, was I don't know if it was a congressional hearing or a, a House committee hearing or some shit. I'm pretty sure it was a House committee meeting. But during this meeting, they are deposing this fucking schmuck who runs the FBI, this Ray, Director Ray schmuck, this piece of shit. So they're deposing him, and I've told you guys this story before, and just real quick as a recap, okay, a school introduces transgender bathrooms. Now, sure enough, a 15-year-old girl walks into a bathroom, a fucking dude with a fucking penis walks in behind her who identifies as a woman and rapes this girl. Rather than the school doing anything about it at all, the school covered up this rape when the father goes to a school board meeting to call these pieces of shit out on this rape and the fact that they covered it up they covered it up this man was arrested he was tased and he was taken out of a school board meeting later it came out that citizens who do these citizens who speak out at these school board meetings citizens who speak out at city council meetings citizens who film police citizens who who do these things should be considered as terrorists they should be considered as homeland terrorists according to this document this document was released by the FBI director that goes out to all the attorney generals who then disperses it to all the police departments, which essentially gives the police their orders on who to arrest and what to classify the as. This fucking scumbag is testifying under oath during this deposition. No, 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 we don't do that. No, 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 we don't do that. And then all of a sudden the fucking actual email leaks. This is the thing about Democrats. They're just like my fucking wife, right? They're just like my wife. You can catch the fucking disgusting scumbag, cock-sucking whore, red-handed. You can catch this fucking whore with a dick in her fucking mouth. You can catch her red-handed, and she'll, she'll be like, nuh uh Nope, nuh uh And expect you to believe that just because they say, nuh uh you're supposed to believe that shit. That means they're telling the truth. Now, that's what happened then. Now, fast forward. Okay? Now, this director is saying, we don't do that shit. We don't do that shit. How else do you explain the FBI? Of all people, the FBI shows up at your house over your fucking First Amendment. How ridiculous. How re The FBI should be dismantled. They should be defunded. So should the fucking Department of Justice. So should the ATF. They're all fucking rats. They're all compromised. They've all been bought by the Biden administration. They're all pieces of dog shit. And news media places, they'll be like, there's no solid evidence. There's no smoking gun about Hunter Biden, that piece of shit, and his fucking pederast father who should be executed and raped. There's no fucking, there's no hard, there's no evidence. Do you not watch these fucking House committee meetings? Do you not watch the fucking congressional? Do you not watch this shit? The evidence is there. They present it. What? That just goes to show you how fucking absolutely stupid the Democrats think you are.
even as a Democrat, they know you're fucking stupid. You're dumb. They know you are fucking dumb. And I'm not saying that the fucking Republicans have all the answers. I am not saying that at all. But what I am saying that the Democrats are responsible for all the fucking chaos that's going on in our country right now. Our president is the leading funder of terrorism and human trafficking on the fucking planet. This motherfucker is a foreign national. Anywho, I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry about all that. Thank you for letting me get that off my chest. I appreciate that. Okay, so anywho, if you've made it this far, you've made it all the way to the end. Very special thank you to the channels I highlighted today. That was, who was that shit? That was History Judge, Cop Tells 236, a.k.a. We the People, Ryan Fleming, and Police the Police. If you motherfuckers are unfamiliar with these channels, I always leave the original link in the description. Click on them, head on over, let them know we was getting fucked up. We was watching their shit. We love them. We, we support them. We appreciate them. And we got their back over this motherfucker, man. If you have a Facebook, join us at the S4S MPGH Facebook group. My dude Chris will keep you motherfuckers entertained with shit all day long you don't see over here because he's a bad motherfucker. He's a bad man. That being said, folks, to the ones that love us, to the ones that lost us, and to the motherfuckers that get to meet us and hang out with a bunch of kick-ass motherfuckers like you and like me, you motherfuckers are cared for, you're important, you're valuable, and you're unbelievably appreciated. You are not worthless. You're not worthless. And if no one has told you motherfuckers yet today, just know I love you over this bit. And I shall see you motherfuckers tomorrow evening. Cheers, folks. Stay safe.